Thank you. So let's start in. What I want to talk about a little bit, first I'm sure like many of you, I was wildly inspired by Neil Stevenson's Metaverse and then vindicated through Rainbow's End and the vision of education that were uh, outlined in both of those books. Um, I've been running a project-based, or now it's called phenomenon-based learning for about the past 15 years and based it solely in social media using it as a platform for the last 11 years and creating transdisciplinary projects for the last six. In the last three, we have now integrated AR as a required element into these classes. So uh, to give you an idea, this year's project uh, was an international hotel and it was based, uh, there were five separate hotels being built and based in Latin American countries. Um, we had five teams of uh, more than, well, there was a total of about 115 students and then we also had TAs, embedded tutors, and there were three uh, professors involved. The disciplines this year were Spanish, it was a beginning Spanish class year long, and we had two engineering, intro to engineering uh, classes, and a business class. Um, to give you an idea of the scope, this is the list of requirements for the Spanish students. The engineering students actually had to build projects, physical projects, based on humanitarian needs in the region of the hotel to support the hotel and also to support the hotel's community. Um, they had to document it, create cost analysis, and then uh, do a poster session and a presentation with the actual physical viable product to the uh, industry leaders, some of the manufacturing engineers and engineers uh, in the local Bay Area. Uh, we also had the business students had to create a plan and investment strategy for the engineers project and they had to create a marketing uh, analysis and uh, proposal uh, for uh, attaining clientele for the Spanish students. So AR was our meeting ground. Um, we coordinated those five projects and they were also made up of tiered classes. So we had students who were 100% online we had students who were in various levels of hybrid attendance, and then we also had two sections of fully in-person classes. And we reached every one of those using our social media platform. In this case, we were using um, Facebook and the Facebook groups. Before that, we used to use Tribe, but now we're using uh, the Facebook. And of course, its recent purchase of the Oculus, which is completely logical, um, means I'll probably be taking Messenger and hopefully all the different communication tools and integrating those as well into the, into the Oculus world so that we'll be able to continue this on an even higher level. Uh, so what we did was we took all of the different content that they created and then we put those into image-driven brochures. So here, um, what I see right now with the importance of doing these different projects. Um, we are doing them through three different campuses, so we were not even locally close. We were actually in three physical separate locations aside from the online students. And so they were um, developing this together, and part of what I see is when I come here, there's so much amazing stuff being developed, but it's kind of like the monks in the in the medieval churches where they created these incredible manuscripts but nobody else knew how to read them or write them so it was magic and they were grimoires and they were valuable and I think that's kind of where we are right now with AR and so I see things being created for students and for education but I, th I think I take it back and look at it as saying it's a language that we all need to know everybody know has to know how to read this and they have to know how to write this all of these students are the clients and the businesses and the customers of tomorrow and this has to be just so obvious to them as the instant tool to go to when you have to do a presentation or you're writing a report or you're creating something this is where you collaborate and it makes it a lot easier for people who are collaborating from different locations which we all know is pretty much the norm now um, so our future poll uh, goal for next year is to actually include 3d modeling and to refine our geolocation this is an example of one of the coordinated projects, and it, it has been Dacreed, Blippard, Zippard, Zappard, Erasmud. Uh, we tried to layer everything on there. Uh, it's primarily right now the Spanish student materials, but there are some of the engineering product materials there as well. Um, I have actual physical brochures that if anybody wants to check them out to see the scope of the work and see what they did. I think, 
there's several of them here. So I brought two different hotels. So I have the Hotel Esmeralda and also we have the uh, Hotel Armonia. No? So that's where we are right now. And we've been doing this, like I said, for the past three years using AR as the portfolio. So we have a way to actually archive all of these project materials. And it's far more interesting and interactive for them than to do this on like a static website. Although website build was part of the project, this gives them more fluidity and they can easily change. We actually have accounts that we all share and they can go in and tweak. We can go in and add an extra layer. We can add an extra um, chapter, depending on which application we're using. They have different names for it, but we can actually create different sequences and they can do it on the fly. So they're messaging through Facebook. Maybe they're doing a Facebook video or we do a lot of Skyping, pass the phone around. And, uh, and they can actually make tweaks right there live. Publish, check it out, publish, check it out. So, um, and it's easier for them to present to different administrators uh, by using these different paper things that they can take out. So, and it, there is website versions as well. So, we're going to keep building on this. That's Thank our project. <laughs> we have time for a couple questions for Deborah. Is there any? Any questions? Um, great presentation. Um, when, how intuitive did you find um, pe people who were coming to AR for the first time? How quickly did it take um, for them to, you know, grasp it and, and, and start to learn how to use it? That is a good question. The first year we did it, because um, we actually started four years ago, um, I did had a select group of students who actually worked on it, and we mapped out a way to actually train people very quickly on specific applications. And so we actually created our own instruction manual and our own uh, set of uh, video uh, captures to show people how to actually work with it. And so when we start at the beginning, that is one of the first tools that we learn how to do. And the interesting thing uh, for anybody who, who knows people who are working in language, um, foreign language has an edge uh, in the ability to actually do pretty much anything as long as we're in the target language. How much better is it that these people know how to build AR in English and in Spanish, or English and in French, or English and in Chinese? So it gives them a job skill when they walk out. They uh, instantly have more value to employers. Uh, the same with the engineering people. They may know how to make a project, but do they know how to present? Do they know how to communicate their ideas effectively? Business people need real clients. They can't keep reading the theory in the books and then turn around. Ooh, I need to go, huh? Oh, yeah, you can continue. Okay. So you're just going to set this thing up if you want to get Sure, questions. that'd be great. Ask me to stop here. I didn't want to interrupt. So um, one of the things that, in fact, when I presented different boards, uh, educational boards, thank you. When I presented educational boards, that was the, one of the first questions they asked me was, well, how hard was that? And does it take over the actual other content of the class? And I say, no, it actually is not as difficult as you think. And because they are collaborating, and it is fascinating to watch somebody who is a fully online business student collaborating with a hybrid Spanish student with an in-person engineering student all on this one build to actually figure out where are they going to put their project. Thank you. Deborah Lemon, everybody.